So we'll just take a clip there, and then I decrease the space as I move back. We'll pull that out and comb it out. You see the shape of the fly starts. Any of these errant fibers, we, we can get rid of them. Now, just like on the smaller fly, I'm going to start back in here and go towards that tag. But unlike the smaller fly, when I cut it like that, it gives a square bottom, and we don't want that. So what we'll do is just trim the sides a little bit. It takes a couple little clips, but it'll fall into place really quick. And if you have to thin it out anymore, you can take your scissors, put your finger in back of them, and move back as you close the scissors, follow it with you, the finger in the back, and that'll kind of trim it down a little bit. Uh, this is basically giving it a haircut. There we go. Yeah. We pretty much have the shape of that now. Now what I'm going to do, just like on the other fly, I'm going to take the UV knot sense, pull this thing back. What I'm going to do is start on the back side first so I get all of this at one time because it's a big fly. I get the slope that I want on that head makes it a lot easier when I go to epoxy it. Pull back nice and tight. Then I'll take the knot sense above the hook shank right to the bead and come across with a little bead go all the way over to this side. And I'll cure it with the UV light. On this side, and if I did it right, it'll stick. Every once in a while, it might come a little loose. Let me put a little UV on this right here just to make sure so it doesn't pop. I got a little gap there. We'll get that one. Let's see. The shape of the head is stuck. Before I started using the uh, UV knot sense, I used to have to double coat them with epoxy, which was a pain in the neck because you had to keep on top of it to pull the things back as the epoxy cured. We'll do a little more epoxy on this one. A little bigger amount this time. Mix the epoxy slow, because if you don't, you're going to have a real mess. It just gets ugly bubbly. fiber in here we didn't want. Got a few bubbles in there, but we'll get them out because there's this on the, you'll see on this bigger fly, there's the way, a way to work that, those bubbles out. And, and you do it by twirling the epoxy when you put it on to get it into place. You just go like this and it follows that big gob. It just follows it. You take it where you want it to go. If you try to paint it on, you'll get in trouble. 
Take another bunch, get this side over to the bead, follow that line up, 